That began with a myth about education, which is that schools are trapped in a one-size-fits-all paradigm. How many of us are making this assumption based on the traditional academic model that we grew up in? Because with my first-hand experience as a teacher, the majority of the teachers are actually embracing the universal design for learning, which provide multiple ways to engage with the students, to represent content, or to offer a variety of assessment options that allow students to showcase their learning outcomes. And to make all this work, teachers often take the time to build connection with the students personally. Have you ever had a teacher who you felt really understood you? Who saw your potential that you didn't see? And who changed your life in the most unexpected ways? If you can picture their face right now, make sure you reach out to them and say hi. You're going to make them very happy. And now consider this. While teachers are doing their best to provide a personalized learning experience, one significant challenge that's hindering success is that the data that's crucial for providing personalized learning experience is actually scattered across three different stakeholders. First up, we have school administrators and academic advisors. They are armed with students' background information, personal, financial, and academic records. Then come the teachers, the heart and soul of education. They know what students would prefer spontaneity and what students would prefer routine. They even know who gets extra cranky before lunch. And let's not forget about students themselves. They hold the insights into their own interests and preferences. But here's the catch. Even though all three stakeholders share a mutual interest, which is academic success and student employability, each stakeholder can only see a fraction of the student's learning journey because they're limited by the data they have access to. And consequently, Helping students with questions such as, would this program be the best fit for me? How do I align my interests with what's needed outside in the real world upon graduation would be a daunting task because we don't see the whole picture because we don't have enough data. Now imagine this. What if we leverage the power of AI? a tool that is good at making predictions, finding patterns, and processing large amount of information in a short period of time? What if we collaborate with AI to consolidate all three data sets into one unified source, providing us a more holistic view of the student's learning journey and uncover some of the factors that we might not even know exist? Companies have been leveraging AI to drive educational success under this framework. Let me give you some examples that our team have been working on with AI over the past few years. First, enrollment propensity. Why not use AI to pinpoint the students who are serious about starting classes and allowing academic advisors to come in and to reach out at the optimal time in the most effective manner? because timing is key, right? And our data reveals that um, the first contact within the six to seven days would significantly boost online program enrollment. Next, we have mail rate control. Many things can go wrong between application completion and official enrollment. If you have been engaged before, you know what I'm talking about. The admission office should be able to use AI to find out what factors can 
best predict the increased enrollment rate and then use this insight to drive proactive actions and reach out to the students who are having doubts and then provide support. Through the implementation of our AI models, we witness a 25% decrease in abandoned enrollment rate. Next up, marketing strategy. We have assisted our client institutions using AI to identify one crucial factor for their online engineering students, which is something very unexpected and none of the stakeholders would ever expect that to happen. Can you guess what it is? It's the distance to the school. For an online program, you probably wouldn't expect that the distance to the school would matter that much, right? But for their engineering students, it actually did. So imagine that if you were one of the faculty members, it may be a good idea to launch a few more local campaigns, maybe having more ice cream socials and invite local students to come over and know more about your program. we have seen how predictive models can get the right students into the right program. Now let's take a look at how we can leverage generative AI to foster creative thinking in the classroom through prompt engineering. So let's create a prompt together. First, let's assign AI a role. And in this case, we want it to be a teacher who is good at asking questions and guiding students to think deeply. Then we provide explicit instructions to ask AI to explain the concept by providing examples and analogies that can explain the concept in various ways. Next, we can prompt AI to ask a question after the explanation to take students to one layer deeper and to think about the concept in a deeper way. Of course, we are all human. We are prompt to look for shortcuts. We can prompt AI to respond to things like, I don't know, just give me an answer with a guided reflection to help students understand what's the challenging part for them to go one layer deeper thinking about this particular concept. And more importantly, we can implement a mandatory thinking period to reinforce that it is the effort and the process that's the most important part rather than just finding the answer or the results. We can input this prompt into a AI technology tool such as ChatGPT, Bing, or Google Bard. Using this as an individual or group activity to encourage students to learn more about fact checking, prompt fine tuning, or allow students to discuss the pros and cons while they interact with AI, to exchange prompts, to help each other by providing critique or invite more collaboration. The, the possibility is actually endless because we as humans are creative. Albert Einstein once said that the value of a college education is not the learning of many facts, but the training of the mind to think. As we envision the future of education, I propose that the true transformation occurs when we empower students to be AI literate, when humans collaborate with AI, and more importantly, with each other to share knowledge and resources and unlock the full potential of education. And that it's how we empower universal design for learning and for all. Thank you.